My training wasn't so much about weightlifting, it was more about agility and, and, and functionality. Extraction 2 is the follow up to Extraction 1, which was a massive hit for Netflix. Oh, you think the Marvel gig's hard when Chris Hemsworth's bulking up to play Thor? Try prepping for the Extraction franchise. Your Sam would call the cut and we could move on. It's like doing sprints, but for 14 hours, literally. And by the end of the take, I was just like, <sighs> drop to my knees and be like, oh, did we get it, Sam? He's like, no, nah, there's just one little thing I want to change. I was like, <laughs> okay, let's go again. There's been so much uh, prep leading up to this point. In particular with stunt scenes, uh, big action sequences that are choreographed and prepped for weeks and weeks and weeks, making sure you're rested, making sure you are prepped so that can kind of remove any doubt and fear and anxiety around it. For me, I just love the process. So the sort of passion and the commitment keeps me, keeps me moving forward. Apparently before filming began, they sat Chris Hemsworth down and said, hey dude, you're too jacked. Ignore anyone who tells you otherwise. So Chris Hemsworth had to put away the chicken, broccoli and brown rice until the next Thor movie. I'd come off the most recent Thor film and so I was just like training and eating and training and eating. I was big. But in this film, their focus was to strip that down, be a lot leaner, a lot more agile, just because there were so many things that were required of me. I didn't have the stricter side on this. I mean, I, I generally eat pretty healthy. For Thor, much larger calorie intake, the usual sort of high protein, all the boring stuff. Whereas for this, I actually had to, you know, and I didn't have a very big window, but just slim down and become more functional, flexible better movement patterns, more martial art training. And it was freezing. And you were burning so many calories, I was just eating whatever. I mean, it was generally healthy, <laughs> but it didn't matter. It's just like yeah. fuel, 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 yeah. fuel. Listen, Chris Hemsworth's not just an actor. He's an athlete now. I never thought that I would feel more like a professional athlete than, a, uh, than, than an actor at times. I think I underestimated the athleticism that was required. Some of the time in action films, you know, you can break the scene down into five or six second beats and bang, 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 cut, move the camera and so on. The way Sam shoots is with long continuous shots and so if you're not fit you're not making it through that that section. We would shoot for 14 hours a day and just be stunt rehearsal after stunt rehearsal and in camera action and so yeah it was by far the most exhausting physically draining taxing experience I've ever had. When it came for the prepping for extraction recovery was key. I feel like I was still sort of nursing some injuries from the first film coming <laughs> yeah. into this and during the first film I, I had some sort of back issues that Sam was constantly checking in and monitoring and then we came into this film he's like how's the back still good and I'm like yeah still still managing it but I had the, the great physio and I was just saying it's like playing a professional sport more than making a film yeah. a lot of the days the rehearsal and prep time going into it the rehab and the management around injuries and massage acupuncture you know Extraction 2 was so intense it forced Chris Hemsworth to be a one take kind of guy we don't need to do that again do we really I didn't want more takes I wanted less <laughs> Chris Hemsworth Hemsworth teamed up with his longtime trainer. You've seen him in all the videos. The awesome Luke Zocchi, who had him doing functional workouts with chin ups and push ups as a staple moves, along with Pilates. It's functional training, it was specific to the actual scenes we're doing. There's an athleticism that is insisted upon by Sam in these films, and when we first discussed even shooting the, the, the first film, it was all about reducing the sort of size I was before, making it more athletic, making it more functional. So the training all became about movement flexibility and then the stunt rehearsals and actually the shooting of these particular scenes was the workout in itself. My biggest takeaway would be this sort of rehab, the training, the athleticism that is required and comes with this. And, and we had weeks and weeks of prep for this and training for specific fights, but then also just training to keep the body functional and in a place where it was malleable and could adapt to different stunts. My training wasn't so much about weightlifting, it was more about agility and, and, and functionality. Extraction 2 required hours of fight scenes. Yeah, it was kind of physically demanding. So Chris Hemsworth focused on recovery more than ever. He had a physio on set 24-7. That's expensive. He can afford it. And he got real hot and real cold. We're talking saunas and ice baths. It's just movie star torture. Get on the mat. Chris Hemsworth's mate, who's also jacked, Ross Edgeley, spoke about how the actor's always hitting it hard. He climbed the rope Thor size, so there wasn't necessarily the bulking up and slimming down all that much between those two roles. So I think what I loved about that, and I said that on the episode, that I think Chris said, I'm going to be Thor size, is that good or bad? And I said, well, it's terrible. Like, you know, 110 kilos, people don't climb 100 foot ropes, dangling 1,000 foot from the blue mountain. You, you just don't do that. So when you are basically looking at an 
athlete and an, and an actor hybrid like Chris, you go, well, we need to be that size. We can't really like manipulate your body weight. So the only other alternative we have is to make him more physically robust and stronger so he's able to carry himself up there. He said he bulks up and he's eating eight meals a day for Thor. And then everyone's like, oh, God, we need you lean for extraction, too, because that character is a bit more athletic. So he just stopped eating so much and then set off running half marathons to drop weight. That would leave most people in bed. It was just obscene. His work ethic. It was brutal. The conditioning, it made no sense. He needed to bulk up like a heavyweight weight mixed martial artist or rugby player or NFL player, but then train like an Olympic gymnast. I was blown away. It, it, it really puts him in that 0.0001% of athletes that, that could have done that. So the rumours continue that Chris Hemsworth, you know, might not be 100% natty. What's your thoughts? Hit me up in the comments. Joe Rogan's already made his mind up. The money that you're talking about, like if someone's playing Thor, like that's a good one. Yeah, that guy sauced it up 100%. <laughs> Hemsworth. Ah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Hey Chris, we know it's just a maritime before you're back on the chicken, broccoli and brown rice diet for the next Thor movie. So look, if you're loving this video, subscribe, comment and like and get involved. There's a whole bunch more videos on the screen ready to go right now. You better get tapping.